welcome everyone to this uh, newsletter. So I'll uh, present you now the SOS Mangrove program, which is a project that we started just after the Wakashio oil spill that happened uh, last year in Mauritius. So as you all know, the oil spill affected around 32 kilometers of uh, coastline in the southeast of Mauritius, and it impacted a lot of ecosystems, including the mangrove. And as you can see on the left of this slide, uh, the mangrove have been covered by oil. And this picture especially was taken in uh, Creole River where the mangrove have been the most affect affected. And uh, just after the oil spill, reef conservation directly uh, joined the different surveys and meeting organized with the, the international experts and the government to record uh, baseline information on the impact of the oil uh, of the oil on the mangrove. And in, in parallel with this uh, collaborative monitoring, we also uh, started uh, visual surveys to get uh, really first <clears throat> the first data on the direct impact of the oil spill on the mangrove trees. So we are looking uh, if the oil will actually affect the fruiting and the flowering of the trees, whether they will affect the root systems, the propagules, and so we conduct these surveys on a monthly basis in 15 sites between uh, Trudeau-Douze and Blue Bay. And this has been done monthly since the oil spill, and we continue to do so uh, in the long-term basis. Also, what we've been doing is uh, the monitoring of the Ramsar site at Point Disney with the National Parks and Conservation Services. And because this site is located just uh, along the coast where the Wakashio grounded, and so it was quite important for us to be involved in this monitoring as well. And uh, we've done so far three different sessions of monitoring, and this is being done quarterly with the government. And then finally, thanks to funding that we received, we managed to uh, attend training to build staff capacity. And this, uh, the first training that we attended it was one for photogrammetry to learn how to make 3D models and to learn how to make high resolution maps uh, of the mangrove especially. And uh, we also bought the necessary equipment to do this uh, again in a long-term basis. And then finally, part of the SOS man a big part of the SOS mangrove program is also education. And uh, to do this, we will obviously use our Bislamer, which is a, a great tool that we has to actually sensitize a lot of people all around the island. And so we will soon conduct different campaigns focusing on mangrove, and we will go all around schools, companies, and and uh, and we will join the community members to raise awareness about the mangrove, about what happened with the oil spill and all the threats that are affecting the mangroves. We will, we will also share with you uh, results from our monitoring, including the remote sensing uh, technique that we use. So on the picture in the middle, for example, you can see a 3D model of mangrove that we produced recently. And we will obviously do more, uh, more of that from all around the island and so if you stay tuned and follow our Facebook page, you will be able to uh, learn a lot more about that. And then very soon, around September, we will also launch our citizen science project. So really, we will need your help to do that and keep uh, following us to, to learn more about this very interesting project. Uh, we will need you to help us collect data on mangroves all around the island, and we will be looking for volunteers very soon. So now I'll continue by presenting you our Unlock Nature project that uh, we started also after work and show all speed. Uh, and the Unlock Nature project is actually a citizen science project that is open to everyone in Mauritius. And uh, it started with the Mauritius Coastal Impact Survey. So this survey was, was run online uh, mostly, and we did also a, a few face-to-face -face interviews to 
have a look at the perception of people about the mangrove and see whether they are aware of the pollutions affecting them and whether they feel mangrove are important or, or not and why. And so in total, we received around 150 answers and we are very grateful for your feedback because it will be very important for us to actually adapt our educational campaign. So we will soon publish more results about this survey. So again, stay tuned and follow us on Facebook to learn more about that. And uh, as part of the Unlock Nature project, we also have two other app that we will uh, run. The first one, the Landscape Connect, is already available. So please feel free to download it and use it uh, with us. So this app basically aims at uh, capturing the perception of people on the environment and uh, capturing the, the feeling on how these the, the favorite places changed with COVID and also with the pollution. So uh, really please help us and share your, your pictures with us and your feeling about your natural environment. And then Rate My View is another app that will come soon. So again, check your Facebook uh, because we will soon uh, launch this second app. Uh, this, this app, Rate My View, uh, basically aims at uh, sharing the best pictures of Mauritius environment and uh, rating them with the community. So if you, if you can capture great pictures of Mauritius environment, ecosystems, coastal, forest, uh, and you want people to see your pictures and rate your pictures, please just download this app and, uh, and you'll get great results. So thanks in advance for your help. 